Good afternoon folks, Joey Nelson here again at Park Model Homes. Today we're going to be touring our Woodlands Vault non-lofted unit. So you might have seen another video I've done, it actually had the loft, and that's actually this unit directly behind me here. But we did a, uh, a non-lofted unit, so it gives you a lot taller ceilings, a little bit more open inside. Well, I'll show you once we get inside here, but let me go over a few of the exterior details that we did on this particular home. So, something I like about Woodland Park, what they do is they try to add some extra flair on the outside. You'll see this little eave outside on the front. Most other builders will not add the eyebrow eave like you see on the front here. And you might also see the compartments underneath. So, what we did here is we lifted the living room up 18 inches and added two cargo doors that has storage that goes all the way through to the other side. Also has motion activated lights, so you can see what's going on in there. Uh, we got PVC flooring underneath here, so it's water resistant flooring, so if you're throwing your coolers, your kayak, stuff like that, don't have to worry about the damage and stuff that it might cause if you get water underneath there. They're all sealed and they do come with locks, so when you're gone, you can lock them up. Just a really cool feature. You don't see a whole lot of park model builders doing. These guys are innovators and uh, they're always thinking on their toes, which is one of the biggest things with park models nowadays is innovation. So really proud to have something like this here on our lot. So we're gonna go ahead and step inside this model, show you a couple of the differences from the loft and the non-loft. All right, first thing you're gonna see here is the kitchen. We decided to do a two-tone cabinet color, so we did white uppers and gray lowers. We trimmed out the white cabinets in the gray, which of course you can pick any color you'd like. Blue lowers, all white, all gray. Comes down to the customization side of things. We also decided to do the microwave above the range before we had like an Italian range hood above it and did the microwave down in this cabinet below. So we wanted more storage. We added the microwave above the range, cabinets above it, below it, and all around it. We got the glass face doors here. It does come with adjustable shelving inside. It also has a light in there so you can display whatever china or whatever it is that you have inside there. If you didn't want the glass, we could just do regular shaker style cabinet doors. Kind of nice having something there to kind of feature inside your kitchen. So you see two dimmer switches here. Basically, those dimmer switches is gonna operate the cabinetry lighting right here, but we also added toe kick lighting. So all the cabinets underneath has got rope lighting underneath it as well. So you can turn those on and dim them down if you'd like to. Also got the movable island comes with four bar stools. We haven't set them up yet, but this island does move. So you can rearrange it if you'd like to. It's got tons of storage underneath it as well with adjustable shelving. All the storage you can get, the better. Speaking of storage, underneath here, like I mentioned before, we raised this living room up so we can have the exterior uh, storage on the outside. We wanted to make sure you still had storage on the inside as well. And they're on drawer guides, so you can pull it out. You can store whatever you'd like in there. Um, another really nice feature, just having as much storage as you can. So, Okay, coming up here to the living room. These are a new handrail that we've done. We do have a couple options on that as well. Really cool touch. This one we just did our standard flooring. We do have quite a variety of flooring colors, uh, plank flooring. We also did wainscoting here in the living room as well. It just kind of breaks things up a little bit. So we got the white beadboard below. Really like how many windows we've got in this house. You can see this whole side here is full of glass. You can add or remove as many windows as you'd like, but just really helps bringing in all that natural light. Here's a view of the kitchen from up in the living room area. 
stainless steel appliances. That's an option, black or white comes standard. And here's the entertainment center, nice big entertainment center. We did accent windows on each side, 14 by 70 windows on each side of it. Electric fireplace with more storage. And we install the TV brackets as well as if you'd like us to. So you do have central heating and cooling in these units. We try to make it as turnkey as possible so you don't have to worry about you know, HVAC companies coming in, installing an air conditioner on site. They come turnkey is the way you see it. So like I said, we did not do a loft. We did the tall flat ceilings throughout, clear story windows up above. Where the staircase was, we decided to put a washer and dryer space in here. So this is where your stacker washer and dryer is. Coming around the corner, you also have a corner um, pantry linen cabinet as well. Four doors. Show you inside of there real quick so you can see. You gotta get as much storage as you can in every square inch as possible. So it's nice having that there. Coming into the bathroom, you got your three uh, mirror. That is a standard feature. We could do a lighted mirror in the center, open shelving on each side if you like. Also did the cabinet above the commode. Elongated comfort height toilet. There's your corner shower. Look how tall these ceilings are. We did the clear story window up here. We've got close to 10 foot ceilings up here. So makes it feel very open, not very crammed like the lofted unit having that roof really short. I'm 6'4", and this really makes it feel much more open and comfortable for me. More storage right here next to the shower. Now let's go into the bedroom. This is all on one floor. Some people ask, well, I don't want a drop floor in my house. Obviously, this is a non-lofted unit, so we wouldn't do a drop floor in the to beginning uh, of the process here. But if you did a lofted unit, we could do a straight floor as well, just so you're not get, getting, you know, up and down the stairs as much as most people would with the drop floor. If it's a queen size mattress, we did the overhead cabinets with bookshelves on each side. You got plug-ins for both sides of the house with USB ports. You got the dimmer switch for the cabinetry lighting above the bed as well. His and her cabinet, you got a bank of drawers in the center, TV space in the center there as well. Tons of storage in this living room, or in this bedroom, I'm sorry. And we did a ceiling fan as well in the bedroom. This bed actually does come with storage. It's got hydraulic arms so you can lift up the mattress with more storage underneath the bed as well. Anyways, guys, this is our Woodlands Vault non-lofted model. We've got it here in Spokane currently. Our build time right now is roughly four to six months. So if you guys are looking for a summertime build and want something out on your property by summer, I would recommend calling as soon as you can. Build times are going out and prices are going up with the material surcharges. So if this is something you guys are really considering on doing, give us a call today. Phone number here is 888-222-2699. Park Model Homes here in Spokane. We are a nationwide dealer. We deliver all over the country. Doesn't matter where you're located, we can service that area. We've got a lot here to look at. A lot of these are sold, but we generally try to carry up to 10 to 12 units at all times for people to look at. Once again, folks, Joey Nelson here at Park Model Homes. Give us a call today, 888-222-2699. Thank you.